Yo! There we go. Audio capture. So we should be hearing something. Streaming health is poor, though. Sound is on now. All right. Ah, listening to Crocodux debate with some asshole. Ah. Turn that off for a second. All right, so I got the microphone going. Uh, according to the stream, there may be some stream health issues. So if we break up, uh, just know that it's me, not you. Cool. All right, so, again, this is a homework stream. I'm not sure if you're going to be able to really see this, so this may just be, you know, turn this on when you're working on something yourself. Like, I don't know how you guys watch these homework streams. Ah, fuck. I really hope that's the... Damn it. There we go. That's the light. Can you see that now? That better? <laughs> that bright enough? Right, so, the assignment, planar analysis of my face. Ah, oh, fuck. Means I need a fucking mirror, doesn't it? Alright, so charcoal on 9 by 12. This is 11 by 14. Um, so I'll have to measure this out first. Describe the planes in your face through line and cross-hatching value, begin first dividing the major planes with line, then divide the major planes into secondary planes, and divide those further. Keep in mind mark quality, since major planes are major, the line should be more significant and darker. Okay. In addition to using line, use cross-hatching to distinguish the planes. Okay, got that. Uh value of the plane. Okay, before you begin, use a light on your subject to see the planes better. Experiment with the planes. Um, right. So this is a six hour drawing plus four hours to finish planar analysis and cross-hatching detail. Fuck me. I don't have fucking time for this shit. I'll just be completely honest. I mean, I gotta go to work at fucking three. So what time is it now? 10. So 10, 11, 12, 1, 2, 3. Jesus. God damn it, I hate being in school. Sometimes. All right. Well, let's get this on with. Now, it doesn't necessarily have to be my face, does it? Let me check. Uh, describe. No, it's my face. Oh, shit. Let's see, how can I do this? Ah, I know. I'll go print out a picture of me. I got lots of those. I'm some kind of vain, horrible asshole. I'll just put this right here. And, yeah, you might, you might be able to read it. So, hang on. I gotta go print out a picture of me. Right there.
What the shit? Why is it making so many copies? Okay, stop. Stop. I made like 50 <laughs> Jesus Christ! My fucking printer made like 50 billion copies of the same fucking picture! God damn it! And now I still gotta lean in to see the comments. Let's see, I found out something really damn depressing. The longest written work in history is the Smash Bros. Huh. Can you do a Feeding the Trolls on Ghost from Cap True Capitalist Radio? I don't know who that is, but... You can find a, you know, some audio of them that's like under 15, sure. All right, there we go. So that's me. Here, you know what? I'll put it over here so you guys can see it a little better. This is me from a few years ago. Go find a fucking clamp. Tell you what. One of the most annoying classes that I've got so far is figure drawing. Seriously. Just just because the exercises are timed. You know, if this was like planar analysis of your face, however long it takes you, that'd be great. But this is a six hour fucking drawing. Has to be six hours. Ah. Okay, let's get on with this. So it's going to be charcoal, of course. Did I mention I'm tired of this? I'm really tired of, uh, tired of charcoal. This isn't going to be so much a homework stream as it is going to be a bitchin' stream. So I'm going to bitch about how much I'm tired of charcoal. Alright, so here we go. Planar analysis, so... Oh, fucking right. This is too big. I have to measure it first. Ah, fuck. Because it's going to be 14 by 11. I think. I, what does it say? 9 by 12. God damn it. Fine. Uh, charcoal... Start here, and I'll do that all the way to there, and then 9 by 12, so, and of course one of the fucking clamps is in the way. Eh, 9 by 12, there we go. I'm not going to do the other line. I think I can just, you know, double it up later. Oh, people are commenting. The fan fiction is four million. Jesus. Jesus. Jesus Christ. Why? Also, how? How is it four million lines long? Yay, we're back up to five. All right, so this is planar analysis of the of my face, and um, actually, before I go any further, I'm gonna go mess around with the camera controls and zoom in a little bit. Because let's see, configure. I want to zoom in just a just a tinge here. Hit, 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 hit. There we go. Yeah, save the changes. All right. This way you can actually see what the hell I'm working on. I think. Where'd I put it? All right. So first thing I'm going to do... Kind of work out basic shape. 
here we go. And then have this go. So kind of boxy and I'm, the light's hitting me from here. So most of the darker lines are gonna be here. So I'm just gonna make a little arrow. Light's going that way. Something I keep getting in trouble with in this class is I keep looking at my drawing more than the subject. I keep having to be reminded, this is figure drawing, not stare at paper drawing. And I really wish there was a chat. Ah, man, I wish I knew someone who I could, like, do Skype with. Then I could have a conversation with somebody while I do this. Because sometimes talking to my... Tyler, what are you doing? Tyler? Tyler, stop. What are you looking at? What are you looking at? Ugh, say hi to the people. Tyler, say hi. Say hi. Say hi, look, look, hello, say hello, hey. Uh, go on, stop messing with that plutonium. I need that, that's, that's important plutonium. Uh, what are the comments now? Any Liquid Foundation S. James King... Oh, that's 17 Homer's Odysseys. Please make a Feeding the Trolls on the True Capitalist radio show. I have no idea who they are. Send me a link to their... Send me a link to something that's like 15 minutes. I'll take a look at it. Send it to me over Twitter, something. Again, I've, I've also... Some things about the live that's going to apparently happen... Um, tonight at 9, 9, 9.30, basically when I get home. So it might be a little later than 9.30. It might be like 9.40. I guess I probably should have put 10 o'clock, but it's definitely happening tonight. I really, really wanted to, wanted to do it last night, but seriously, I had some, I, threw up my entire stomach. Like, for real. That was not fun. Yeah, I mean, that kind of looks like me. In, in a non... non-looking-like-me sense. My mouth's open. Tyler, what? Tyler, why? Silly Tyler. Tricks are for kids, Tyler. That doesn't mean go eat kids, silly cat. Tyler. Tyler. Being a silly little horrible cat with a penchant for eating children. So weird. What are the comments saying now? The fan fiction, by the way. Haha. <laughs> the same thing with you and dying more. Hmm. Maybe if I go to the actual streaming page, I'll be able to know. Oh, I know how to do this. Hold on. I want to read these things without leaning over. And to do that, I will zoom in on the page. And just do it this way. There we go. Now I can read them from a distance. Hello, Zelda Cody. I with them. All right. So the face is kind of at an angle, and then goes on to like right here, and then that goes there. I'm going to say I'm going to do this for three hours. So it is 10.19 now. So I guess around 1 o'clock we'll, we'll call it. 
Ah, it's too much. I'm looking. I'm looking at the drawing and not the paper again. Ah, fuck. Or fuck it. I'll do it for two hours. I don't know. I'll stop when I'm done or dead, whichever. Eight people watching. So, now that I've got a captive audience, kind of, you guys are listening to this, let me know how you guys listen to this. Do you listen to this um, by, uh, da, 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 like, listening to the actual stream audio, or do you put on some music and just have it in the background? Tyler, what do you, Jesus, stop, what is that? Tyler... Tyler, no. Don't mess with that. That's dangerous. He's always messing with dangerous stuff. And I'm like, Tyler, don't mess with the dangerous things. And he's like, but I am cat. I am the devil. I must mess with the dangerous things. And I'm like, Tyler, Tyler, don't mess with dangerous things. Okay. Da, da, da. Actually, if this is planar analysis, I need to be using boxes. So far, I don't look anything like me. I actually kind of look like, uh... What's his name? Uh, uh, fuck. I look like LJR. This looks more like LJR than it looks like me. I tweeted the fan fiction to you. Ah, oh, Jesus. I, I'm not sure I want to read four million words about something I've never even played before. But I... I can... For you... Do my best Wabu there. It is for you... Save me from Wabu, you stupid... <laughs> Eat him! Eat him! You guys know Wabu, right? Any idea when you'll make a Feeding the Trolls on dot dot dot? God, there isn't enough trolls out there. How about this? Any idea when I'm going to get a Feeding the Trolls done? I mean, I'm doing a live one tonight. That's going to happen. But as far as the next one, I mean, Jesus Christ. I'm... I want to say this month, it's just, yeah, I'd say I've been busy, but you guys are sick of hearing me say I've been busy. Let's just say that the majority of my content between now and when school finally ends is going to be streaming stuff. Not that I actually dislike that. I actually like that a lot. I enjoy streaming. I enjoy talking. I enjoy doing the, you know, the live stuff. It looks really good so far. You're very talented. Well, thank you. I don't have the actual camera stream open, so I'm not sure, but... Alright, so... Eat him. We must kill stupid Wooshul! Da-da-da-da-da-da. <laughs> If you guys haven't seen Phalus's reviews of the uh, Dingo Pictures stuff, you need to go. You need to go see that shit. That's some funny shit. Damn, it really does look like LJR. Like seriously, it looks like LJR now. I mean, I'll just draw LJR. I would if that if I if it was the assignment to just draw a face, I might just print him out. Tyler, now what are you doing? Hi, Lord. Here. Here. Since you really want to play with this box, I'll put it out here. There you go. There you go. Go play with box. Let's see. He's a total scam artist. He gives Glenn Beck a run for his money. I'm fine with the infrequent feedings. Quality over... Do Alex Jones. Also, I know a lot of people are fine with the lack of content, but I'm not. I might be more okay with it if I wasn't also running a Patreon. When you run a Patreon and you can't meet goals, 
that you say you can, it becomes like, well, what are you doing? You know? That being said, I updated the Patreon. There's a $1 donation amount. If you're so inclined. There's a $1 and there's a $10. Okay, I need to be careful. I'm making these lines too dark. That's another thing that I've got a problem with. Making lines too dark. Also, at some point, I gotta do my fucking taxes. I keep joking about that, but Jesus Christ, I have to do those. I can't... It's not like a fucking school deadline or something. I cannot miss one of that. I can't not do them. I used to let an accountant do it. I mean, it cost me a little bit. Probably too much, but... You know. That's just how it is. With accountants. I'm sure it'll be okay. I mean, last year I only started university, took classes at a community college, moved, got a job, got health insurance, got different health insurance, got dental insurance. Ah, Jesus. Jesus Christ. Sometimes I just don't even want to think about it. <laughs> hey, man, don't push yourself to make content when you're so busy. Focus on yourself. It, yeah. Here's the thing, though. If I don't make content, I start feeling really crappy. Like, YouTube isn't just a thing that I do as a hobby, really. I mean, it kind of is... But it also kind of isn't. I enjoy doing it. Like, it's something I actually like doing. I like putting videos up there. I like seeing the feedback. I like it. So when I don't do it, it's like, what the, what the hell? Now, I will say that I just had an interview for a different job at the university. And if that happens, that'll... That'll change a few things. It's more of a daytime position. There's none of this night shit. I used to think I'd be okay with working at night, but now I'm like, you know, I just don't, I got shit to do, you know? Uh, Coolio, just practice. No one is naturally good at this. It is practice. Oh no, like, Two years ago, I couldn't do it this way. I could Tyler, what are you doing? Tyler, what the fuck? Now he's ripping up the floor. Tyler, what are you doing with that knife? Tyler. 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 Look at this. He keeps messing around with this knife. Tyler, stop messing around with this knife. I'm gonna put it over here so you can't mess with it. Don't be like that. Where'd you even get that knife anyway? Being weird. I'm not taking graphic design as a major. I don't see myself doing that for a living. Uh, me neither. Really, I want to do film. And I'm in a film survey class now, which is just amazing, because I've already got a fucking degree in it. There's, there's a lot of bullshit involved when you're a transfer. Primarily, the bullshit comes from the university wanting to make as much money off of you as possible. I got put into a fucking film survey, basically an intro to digital photography, even though I've gotten associates in film and video production, and I've been fucking doing it for a decade, you know? But I talked to my professor, the person in charge of it, 
I at least don't have to go through the editing classes, which is like... Thank God. Because what the fuck am I going to do in editing? What am I going to learn there? I mean, I don't like coming off as conceited, but that's one of the times when I don't have a problem with it. I am too good to be in an editing class. I'm not saying I'm the best editor in the world, because I'm not. But... I'm not... I'm not inexperienced enough to actually benefit from going into an editing class. It'll just frustrate me like this one has. How long until Tyler becomes sentient and enslaves humanity? I don't know. Tyler, how long? Tyler. Tyler. He's giving me this look. I want you to... I'm going to turn the camera so you can look at this look. Because it's a very interesting look that he's given me. Tyler. Tyler. How long, Tyler? How long till you enslave humanity, Tyler? How long? Tyler, stop being evil. I gotta get back to work now. Being an evil little cat who kills people for fun. <sighs> wow, ten people are watching me? Ten people are watching me draw a picture. That's pretty cool. I don't know if ten people who'd want to watch someone else do homework. <laughs> yeah. I'm the great... I'm the greatest. Yeah, I'm the greatest. Don't let the fame go to your head, they said. <laughs> Nine. Oh no, my hubris has betrayed me. I am fed up with this world. Tyler, I am so happy that you are my best friend and that I love Lisa very much. Yeah, I think part of the problem is my mouth is wider. I hate drawing lips. There it is. It's a waste uh, if time, if making you learn the fundamentals of something you have years of experience. Kind of like making an English teacher need, you know, read preschool. Yeah. Yeah. Kind of. I mean, there's some things that I could use some good, you know, I could use some instruction on. Like, they've got a script writing class, and there's some other things that I could I could actually do like I could use some on but fucking Premiere I know how to use Premiere I could probably teach it I could probably teach an After Effects class I might try that actually just on a stream just like yeah here's here's some basic After Effects stuff Post in the comments if you'd like to watch that, you know? Just weasel going over basic After Effects shit. What's the worst movie you have ever seen in your entire life? Whoa, that's a... That's a hard one. It depends on what you mean exactly by movie. Like, do you mean shown in theaters? Or do you mean just any piece of film ever because those are two subjectively different things i guess the worst movie i've ever seen in theaters would have to be huh independence day resurgence i fucking hated that movie i didn't walk out of it no the worst movie i ever saw in theaters is the one that i walked out of okay so as here's how it goes. The worst movie I ever saw in theaters the whole way through was Independence Day Resurgence. The worst movie I've ever seen in theaters, period. And this is like one that I walked out of. 
was Grown Ups 2. We went to go watch that on a dare, like me and Jeb and Nasuman and Liz. We went to go watch that on a dare. Because we flipped a coin and we were like, okay, it's either RoboCop Remake or Grown Ups 3. Or was it Pacific Rim or Grown Ups? I can't remember. Or Grown Ups 2. And we... Like, Grown Ups 2, okay, let's fucking do this. And we went to go watch it, and we got about five minutes in, and then a deer came into a room and started peeing on Adam Sandler. And I just turned to everybody and I say, I'm calling it here. I'm leaving. And I just walked out. And then about three minutes later, everybody else kind of followed me out. The whole... I swear, the theater was fucking full of the fattest little eight-year-olds you've ever seen. And I'm calling them eight because they couldn't have been older than eight. And they were all, like, just enormous. They were like human-sized bowling balls. Sitting there, just laughing at every fucking thing they saw. And... I mean, I really thought, I really honestly thought the movie was going to be a so bad it's good movie. Or at least a wow, that was so cringy movie. And then we could make a video out of it and it'd be fun. But then it's like, my god, this is so bad it's just bad and I don't want to watch it anymore. And I kind of asked, I asked for my money back but they said once you've sat in the theater for so long you can't have your money back. And then I said, well, fuck, how about an exchange? Can I just get a different ticket? And then the manager came over and I kind of explained to him, like, yeah, I, 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 can't, I can't watch that fucking movie. It's dumb as hell. Like, it's so bad, I can't stand it. And they kind of had a talk in the back. And then he came out and he was like, okay, we can't give you your money back, but we can exchange so if you want to get a different ticket we we'll, we can we can refund this ticket for a different ticket but you're gonna see a movie here today and i was like okay fine i'll i'll watch um it was either i can't remember what we watched it was either pacific rim but i can't i don't remember if that movie was out or it was at World's End, we watched something else. I guess whatever it is we watched was just fucking forgettable. I think it was the RoboCop remake. Because afterwards, I was like having some kind of weird nervous reaction or something and I was shaking uncontrollably. And I was trying to mask it because I wanted to drive without pissing off people. And then Nasuman kept talking about how great the RoboCop movie was, and I kind of lost it and almost hit him. I think that... I feel like that's that was it. Oh my god, this is... I don't look like... I look drunk in this. Let me... I think the eyes are too big. Let's see. Coleo, I'm doing GCSE2. Let's see, I totally understand. I would leave too. Nah, nothing really. How you doing, Weasel? Oh, I'm doing okay. I'm here. Tomorrow I gotta drive up to Caswell again. And do a whole bunch of shit again. Because I gotta move some things. And then I gotta drive all the way back here. And then the day after that, I've got class... I, I, uh, oh, right. There's some kind of fucking proposal I gotta do, too. Fuck. Something. There's a lot of sh I gotta do a lot of shit. There's a lot of shit I have to do. That's, that's a little better. My mouth is still open, though. Also, this has become not planar analysis. She means it when... Fuck, Audrey means it when she says planar analysis. It has to be planar analysis. 
And nothing here is really planar analysis. Also, there's some other fucking thing, do. God damn it, there's too many fucking things, do. I think last year I actually had it easier. Because last year I had two survey classes. No, I had a survey class and I had a digital design class. And both of those demanded a lot of, like, projects. But I rounded it out with an art history class, which I basically just had to show up to. And a uh, intro to anthropology class, which... I mean, I already had a significant amount of stored knowledge from different things on that, so that was also pretty easy. I think last semester was just easier. This semester, I'm taking four different art-intensive, like, classes. So this year, I'm taking the Graphic Design Studio 2 class, which demands that you do a bunch of shit. I'm taking the figure drawing class, which demands that you do a bunch of shit. I'm taking the film survey class, which I shouldn't have to take, but I am. And that demands that you do a bunch of shit. And I'm taking the intro to fiction writing class, which demands that you do a bunch of shit. So I'm pretty much having your standard, stereotypical college experience. Minus the dorm. I'm never going into a fucking dorm. That's just not happening. I'm not giving up my freedom that way. I considered it, but the dorms around here are fucking insane. $800 a month for rationed water and communal showers? Fuck you. Oh, but it comes out of tuition. So what? I'm still paying for it. It comes with the meal plan. What? Oh, yeah, no. Yeah, that's that's what I want to eat. Meal plan meals. From the fucking cafeteria. That sounds great. Shouldn't say this. If I end up getting the job. Ah, that'll change some things. Let's see. UK system is just fucked lol. Okay, so what do you hope to do with your artwork? Or is this something just for you? Alright, so I do have an end goal for this. This isn't just me making stuff. My end goal for this is to do a graphic novel. I'm already pretty good drawing one of the characters and environments, but I'm not good at drawing people. And unfortunately, a lot of the, graphic, a lot of the characters in the novel are people. So if you can't draw people very well, and you decide to draw a comic, and there's people in the comic, it, it's gonna suck. So one of my goals with doing the art and taking the illustration classes is to get good at drawing people. If I can get good at drawing people, I can do this myself. There's two ways that you do, and that's the squishy eraser, but there's two ways that you do a graphic novel. You either write it and draw it yourself, or you write it and you pay someone to draw it. Artists are expensive. Good artists are also expensive. Now, I could commission someone to do a few test pages and then do an Indiegogo to, you know, make up the cost of the rest of it, Hopefully. But that's not a guarantee. And those things, you know, they don't usually make their goal. Or if they do, it's really rare. So that's not a foolproof plan. But if I can draw it myself, then I don't have to worry about dealing with people. If I can remove as many people as possible from a plan, that's been my experience. Remove as many people possible from your plan. The more people you remove, the more likely it is to succeed. If you're filming a movie and you can film it without a big crew, film it without the big crew. If you can write, you know, if, if you can do a comic yourself, 
then do it yourself. Use people as promotion, but don't rely on people unless you absolutely have to, because people will fuck you over. People are really good at fucking you over. That's just, you know, a fact. Take that, take that to the bank, write it on a check, have the bank not accept the check, eat everybody at the bank in their sleep, and then come back and cash that check. Because that is fact jack. So anyway, next question. Hey, Weasel, drawing again, I see. Yep. Yep, the UK educational system needs completely complete reform. Never had the German specification until year 11. I don't know what that is. What are you going to school for? Thought it all that happened and was to finish around season 3. I went to a community college around season 3. But here's the thing. There's a lot of doors that a bachelor's degree open opens left i need more coffee there's a lot of doors that bachelor's degrees open and there's a lot of doors that remain shut even if you have experience it's kind of messed up and you sort of need to pimp yourself out there but having a bachelor's degree is way better than not having one now, I realize that a lot of people are going to say, yeah, but it doesn't matter if you can't find a job. And that's true. But there's only two real reasons to, well, okay. There are three reasons to go to college. One is that you genuinely want to be more educated in what you're doing. Which is one of my reasons. I want to get better at this. Now, I might be able to teach myself, but... I feel like I would do better with an actual instructor. And I am doing better with actual instructors. Uh, the second reason is because you want a degree, which I do. I want a bachelor's or a master's degree. Those things are eminently useful, no matter what certain people online like to tell you. I've heard a lot of people say, college is not important. Uh, no, no, college is very important. You can do more with experience than you can, you know, a piece of paper. Okay, yes, that's true. For certain occupations, that's very true. But not for a lot of them. And there's a lot more that you get than just a piece of paper. Because the third reason to go is probably the most important, and that's networking. College is an excellent place to network. And that's something I didn't really understand the first time I went. Like, when I was in community college, it was all about just getting that piece of paper. Maybe learning a little bit along the way, but getting that piece of paper was always the end goal. I didn't really think, hey, maybe I should get to know people and use them later on. Because to me, it was like, who cares? No one helps you. People are bad. People never help you. I've kind of had to change my opinion on that. So here's my new opinion. People are useful if you make them be. Networking is one of the most important fucking things you can do. Never underestimate its value. Never underestimate its value. Never underestimate its value. Know people. Get to know people. So, let's see. What else? It's funny, I have the same feeling with my art. I try and make it all by myself and leave others out of it. Yeah. That's some good as advice, especially for movies. Movies with six writers are usually bad ones. Yeah, one or two is... Yeah, there are certain things that do really good on collaboration. If you're building a building, it's better to have a whole lot of architects look at it. Because more people will see, the, will see problems. If a building fails, people actually die. But in a movie, there's a vision to it that, you know, too many cooks can actually spoil. I guess it's the same in a kitchen. Okay, I need to switch implements here, because this is... 
That's not really working. Ah, shit. Okay, this was actually supposed to be cross-hatching, so I'm kind of fucking this up here. I look kind of like a dog. A crazy old drunk. Yes, I look like a crazy old drunk. What else? Uh, similar to a script by one writer might only make sense to him. Of others haven't really checked it out or criticized it. Yeah, okay, yeah, there is some truth to that. It's always... Okay, here's my opinion on it. Since this is just all my opinion, I guess. You need... If you write a script, write a script without interference from any from anybody then when it's done start letting people interfere because yeah people are going to point out things that you didn't think of that's part of the reason why when you write a book you don't just write it and then send it to a publisher there's an editor there and before you send it to an editor you want to you want to show it off to people. You want proofreaders. Proofreaders are really important. I'm proofreading something right now, but the guy who I'm proofreading it for can't get back to me. Yeah, that's that's a crazy old drunk face right there. Crazy drunk. I'm probably doing this wrong again. Planar analysis is not very straightforward. It's also something that you wouldn't normally do. That's something that I've seen a lot of people complain about, especially when they're new to a class and the professor makes them do something that's really hard and long and convoluted. And they're like, why are we learning to do it this way? We should learn it to do it the easy way. There's a rationale behind that. If you learn to do it the hard way, you'll have more mastery over it. So this planar analysis thing, I don't like it. I don't see it as necessary. I'm probably not going to do it again outside of class. But because I know it, I can better understand the, you know, the tools. I can better understand the process. And I can take what I learn in this and I can modify it to my own ends. All right. When are you going to read Sonic Shoe again? Or really do Cute Fuzzy Weasel Reads again? Soon. I know, that's like the worst answer I can give you. Because soon never means soon. But soon. I'm not giving up on Sonic Shoe. I've just, you know, been busy. I know you hate hearing that, but it's the truth. I've just been busy. I'm going to get back to Cute Fuzzy Weasel Reads. Just, you know, be patient. I've actually got a Cute Fuzzy... I've got something similar to a Cute Fuzzy Weasel Reads already in the pipe right now. Uh, it's called Let's Read Clickbait. I find clickbait articles, and I read them. That sounds fun for the whole family. This ear is too small. I just realized that. Actually, both of them are. They look. That's why it looked like a dog. It looked like I had little dog ears. But on a big, fat human face. I think it might be the eyebrows which are making it look a little drunkish. Um, yeah, you know, you're probably right. I tend to draw eyebrows a little big. Comes from working with Byron. Byron's a stoat character from the graphic novel. Uh, and because of just how a stoat face is and how my style has evolved, I kind of gave him big eyebrows just, just to help with the emotion. But the uh, you know, end result of just drawing him over and over again is that whenever I draw a face, I give them big eyebrows. And that's pretty fucking distracting. All right. The drawing looks like it's going to come to life and talk about the Alduin... About the Alduin world eater. <laughs> yeah, maybe. 
Yeah, exactly. Getting better at art means doing things out of your comfort zone. I think that's true of everything. Getting a better... Like, let's just go for the full thing and let's see if I can get this stream demonetized. Getting better at understanding politics means getting to understand everything the other side is talking about, whether you agree with it or not, and understanding the rationale behind it. Not on a surface level like, well, I understand it because I watch Thunderfoot. No, I mean actually getting into the trenches and understanding what they're saying. Let's see how many people leave. Before you criticize them, you have to really understand them. Well, before you seriously criticize them. If you're just doing it for shit, then... Yeah, I guess. But I see that a lot of times, especially on YouTube. Commentators will say things, and it's like, Yeah, but if you look into it just a little bit, you'll understand what they're saying. And yeah, you might still not agree with it, that's fine, but you'll at least understand it. Because the worst thing you can do is get someone's position wrong. Because once you do that, you lose credibility, and it's hard to get credibility back. Like, really hard. Like, making this fucking thing with charcoal hard. Fuck charcoal. Tyler, stop messing with that gun. Damn. What even is that? He's been working on this Gauss rifle for the longest fucking time. Tyler, it's never gonna work. You can't use a car battery. You need something way stronger. What does that say? Same face syndrome. Yeah. Like Dragon Ball Z. Ah, yeah, I guess. Confession. I haven't really watched Dragon Ball Z. Ah, I need to. If it was on Netflix, I'd watch the shit out of it. I need to set up a P.O. box, too. I need to do my fucking taxes, too. <laughs> do your fucking taxes, Noah. I actually had someone at work tell me that. They said, why didn't you do your taxes over spring break? I was, I was busy. And she was like, Noah, do your fucking taxes, Jesus. I'm like, okay, fine, I'll do my fucking taxes. That was a week ago. I need to call the IRS and figure out all the fucking forms I gotta fill out. Ugh. Oh my god, my eyes. What the fuck? There we go. Let's let's erase that. Fucking scary eyes. Tyler is the same. Since you talk about politics on FTT, who do you think would be a better president in another universe? John F. Kennedy or Ronald Reagan? Huh. Uh, well, in my opinion, Ronald Reagan was kind of a shitty president. And John F. Kennedy was... I'm at too gung ho too. But I guess if I had to compare the two, Kennedy definitely. If you want to understand why I think that Reagan was not a very good president, you need to look into the Iran Contra affair. Basically, he was running guns to a force that we were then fighting. So it's kind of like arming both sides of the conflict. American history is sort of full of that. We do that a lot. And then when it happens to us, we're like, oh my god. How dare you? How could you do that? You can't say that. Only we're allowed to say that. I'm gonna get you. It's kind of like that situation. So another goal of going to university for me was getting to New Zealand. I've said it before, but I really want to travel. I guess it's sort of counterintuitive then to take the job. But I really, I really just want to go somewhere. I'm still, I'm not tied down to anything. 
aside from the channel and Tylor, I guess. I'm tied to you, Tylor. Tylor. That's right, meow. Let's see. What is Tyler's power level? Uh, Tyler, what's your power level? Tyler. 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 His power level is a soft meow. He gave a really soft little... I guess it's, it's that. Da, 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 da. By the way, the Talking Kitty Cat show, I only know that because it randomly came on on the channel, uh, the autoplay, and Tyler fucking loves that show. I actually have a recording of him, like, watching it. I remember the first night that we saw it, he sat and he watched it for, like, two hours. He sat through commercial breaks and everything. He fucking loves that show. Don't you, Tyler? Tyler, you like that talking cat show? Uh, he licked his face, so that means yes. Stop twice for yes! Stop two, t stop, stop once for no, twice for yes! Come see Tyler, the talking horse cat! Time a visit. Come one, come all. See him next to the New York City Giant. What's it called? The Cincinnati Giant or something? Big fake statue? That's right, Tyler. Run. The ghosts are coming. The red capes are coming. Yeah. Hmm? Uh, I don't know who that is. I don't know what a Yamcha is. You'll have to explain that to me. Jojo, you're going to make a lot of references I'm not going to get. You need to accept that. What art channels do you watch? Well, I watch Draw with Jaza. I actually have his book. Ah, it's over here. Yeah, here it is. I've got Jazza's book. He's a pretty good channel. You know, he's got some... Yeah, you know, he's got some decent material. It's kind of too general, though. Like, there's a lot of... I've got... There's one book that's really good. It's the 21 Draw. That's general, but they go into enough detail to where it's not really general. Um, but then there's, like, the Kevin Hart book. The Hart books just suck. Um, they, they're, they're way too sp specific. You, uh, the key to a good art book is you want it to be general enough to where you can apply it to any project, but specific enough to where you can understand the processes involved. I think I took this too far. Let me check the parameters again. Upload it. It sounds adorable. Brownie face. What is this? Keep, in addition to using line, use cross hatches. Uh, before you begin, use the light. Mix up, mix it up. Not all line, not all cross hatching. Check your proportions. Well, I did. I think this is in proportion, but I'm also not sure this is planar analysis. I'd send this video to my professor, but I'm not sure what she'd say. I guess I can take the stream and like speed it up though. Speed it up to like 30 seconds. That's my neighbor coming in. Uh, I really don't want to go to work today. I really, really don't want to go to work today. But I have to. I gotta pay rent. 
I gotta pay for your fucking food, Tylor. Where'd you go? Tylor. Is you being a hide? Tyler's being a hide. <clears throat> Last question. Now keep keep the questions coming. I'm gonna be here for a while. What do you think of Ronald Reagan's best friend, British PM Margaret Thatcher? I think Margaret Thatcher nearly got us into a shooting war with the Soviet Union. That's what I think. A lot of the hardliners in the 80s really got lucky. I think that the Soviet Union was already on its way to collapse by the 80s. It was either the choices were collapse or become a hermit state. The technology just wasn't there to do anything otherwise, not for a space as big as Russia. With the world changing the way it was. Let's see. Check out Ahmad Amari. He's a big concept art industry university on his channel. He covers specific general. Um, I've heard of him. I have not seen any of his videos. I'll check him out after the uh, stream is done. Which I'd say another hour. Although I'm pretty well done with this. Let me read the thing again. I, I think she wanted a few of these. I don't I don't remember. <sighs> Fuck. Okay, it doesn't specify that she wanted more. Alright, but she does have a schedule here. Start analyzing drawing planes. Two hours. Four hours to finish planar analysis and crotch hat cross hat cro crotch hatch in detail. Gonna hatch ourselves some crotches. <laughs> um, let's see. I think I fucked this one up. I'm not sure this is cross hatching. Now I think it's good. I think I did a very good job. But again, I'm not sure this is cross hatching. I mean, I'm not sure this is planar analysis. I think this is just a drawing. I could try and go in for, like, minute detail, but I don't think that's what she's after. Huh. It would help if I could just call her. I think I can, but I don't think that's... I don't want to. I could call her up and tell her to go check my channel. <laughs> go, go look at the stream and, well... Yeah, yeah, it's Sunday after. I mean, it's it's Saturday afternoon. She's probably got better things to do. So I'm open to more questions because I'm gonna probably. I might do another one. I might do two of these. Cause this one. What you tired yourself out, Ty? You tired yourself out running around like a little little weirdo? Little cat? Being horrible and small? Being small and horrible? What is your opinion on the most recent Nintendo Direct? I don't have an opinion. I don't know a whole lot about it. I don't own a Nintendo. Uh, I know that Steam is really annoying as far as games go, but I also don't buy enough games. I haven't bought a new game in, like, months. I bought um, XCOM 2 as a present to myself for Christmas. And that was the last new game that I bought. And that was the last game that I bought. That wasn't from a thrift store. So... I don't, I don't really have an opinion. I'm gonna, I don't know, I feel like I need to start a new one. Post in the comments below if you think I gotta start a new one. What is your job? My job is annoying and I don't want to talk about my job. I hate my job. That's why I'm trying to get a new job. If I can't get this position at the college, then I might just jump into YouTube and make it my job. 
I did it once before. I can do it again. One thousand. Intro music. If so, do you think it's better? What? Into. Oh, that says into. Fuck. Into into music. What do you think is better, the Beatles or Phil Collins? Uh, I guess the Beatles by by volume. Yeah, the Beatles by volume. Just because I'm not really familiar with all of Phil Collins' stuff. Next question. Really work with lighting and contrast. It's quite important when understanding planes and their depth. Yeah, I know. The light's coming from here. I think I've done a okay job understanding that far. I know I'm running my fucking voice ragged. And that's annoying. Actually, I think this has turned out pretty well. I'm not great with faces. Are you hyped for the new Super Smash Bros? Okay, look. I I don't know anything about it. I'm not a Nintendo fan. Uh, that's not to say I don't like Nintendo. I'm just not... I grew up with a PC. I didn't grow up with consoles. So when people start trying to strike up conversations with like, what do you think of Super Smash Bros? Like, I don't know... I maybe played it one time. I don't, I maybe played Super Smash Bros. one time. Years ago. So, I mean, I don't want to disappoint you, but I think you're barking up the wrong tree as far as Nintendo views go, man. I prefer Pink Floyd to the Beatles. Well, okay, yeah, but that wasn't one of his options. He said Phil Collins or the Beatles. I mean, I'd take, any, I'd take either of them over Ted Nugent, but Ted Nugent's a horrible, sick person. He is awful. Thirteen. There are thirteen people willing to do this. So, like, more questions. Tell me more questions. I mean, ask me more questions. I'm open. I'm watching. I'm always watching. What's up, cat? Ah... And also, let me know if you think I ought to start over. I mean, I can bring in two pieces. I honestly don't think this is planar analysis, though. I think I made it too detailed. But, I don't know. I mean, I used cross-hatching, I think. Guess I can make this line darker. Make make these lines darker. Let's see. That line. There's a line down here. But I feel like I was supposed to keep the planar analysis. Do you do digital art? Yes, I do do digital art. I use a um, Monoprice 24-inch Full HD tablet monitor that is actually really good. It's got a um, wireless, powerless uh, pen, you know, stencil on it. The only thing is that the drivers are really buggy. So occasionally I have to like plug, unplug it and plug it back in before it'll work right. LOL, Ted Nugent is a singer? Long, long time ago, I can still remember when that music used to make me smile. And I used to think that if I had my chance, I could make those people dance and maybe they'd be happy, you know, for a while. But February made me shiver with every paper I delivered, bad news on the doorstep. I couldn't take one more step. Now, I can't remember if I cried when I heard about his widowed bride, but something touched me deep inside the day the music died. 
And I was singing Bye Bye Miss American Pie. <laughs> yeah, I know that song. This music must suck. His music. Anyone um, into more alternate bands like Gorillaz? Yeah, I, I'm good and I'm I've listened to Gorillaz. Gorillaz is good when you're doing mindless work. And you kind of want to be reminded that you're doing mindless work. Yeah, see, not only is this not... I'm going to start over. I'm going to keep this drawing around. Don't get me wrong, but I'm going to start over. Because just looking at it, here's all the problems I'm seeing. For one, this really isn't planar analysis. For two, this is not in proportion. I mean, this shoulder needs to be up here. This is not the right angle. It's just not the right thing. I'm going to keep it around and I'll turn it in in addition to this. But I need to redo this if I'm going to stay true to the actual assignment. But hey, that's fine. I had planned on doing this for two hours anyway. Let's see... Back when I was in high school, let's see, do you think you could get into Nintendo via emulation? I, sure. Again, if I had time, yeah, absolutely. That's the key, though. I gotta have the time. I could stream that shit like I was supposed to be streaming Pokemon. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, I'm running my voice ragged. There we go. Oh yeah, sure, that's in scale. That, that's fine. That's that's awesome. This shit's due the 28th, right? Yeah, so let's see. Monday is the uh, Monday's the 26th. Yeah. FYI, Goblins is an Italian progressive rock band. All right. Yeah, so I could get into Nintendo by emulation if I had, you know... I'm open to suggestions. Okay, so planar analysis. Here we go again. You know what? Fuck this. I think part of my problem is these lines are way too thick. So let's see here. Let's see if I've got a hard one. Uh, this is hard. Okay, so this is... The pencil is hard. I know you never watch TV due to life, but I, have, you, have you heard of Star's Star versus the Forces of Evil? Star? I've heard of I've heard of Ash versus Evil Dead, and I watched the hell out of that. I'm actually a Bruce Campbell fan, but no, I've never heard of Star versus the Army of Evil or what what you said. Hi, Laura, you're just being small. Yeah, now it's on you. Now it's on you. Stilly cat. All right, so this is hard. There we go. Yeah! Lines I can control. Helps out with the throat. Do you drink a lot of tea? No, but I eat a lot of hauls. I have to do that. I do talk a lot, though. Let's see. I vowed I would never touch a Pokemon game until Diamond and Pearl are remastered. Love that generation. So much nostalgia. Again, I mean... I'm just gonna say it. My childhood, as far as what I was into, pretty lame. So, Goblins does a lot of songs just for old school Italian slasher films. Really? Like Cannibal Corpse? Or House of... House of Dead? Ha! House of Dead! I am Bertelli Versace! I dream on ha of, of going to America and doing 
and making brilliant American films like Showgirls. Yeah, this is helping a lot. Yeah, this is helping a lot. I need to stick with a th with a harder pencil, something that doesn't make really thick ass lines. I would suggest checking out Mother Earthbound trilogy. I've heard good things. I need to sharpen this pencil again. Tyler, are you being a little spool? Tyler, are you a little spool? There, that, that knocked down some of the background noise. Tyler's being a dirty little spoolie cat who spools. You drooling drool cat who drools. You mewling mule cat who mules. What is with your brain face, Tyler? Why? Why is it your brain face? And you is like, why I am a cat and I burn people. And I'm like, Tyler, don't burn people. Sounds like a Bruno Matai movie. I think my eyes are just too close together. I hope there's nothing wrong with my brain. <laughs> ah, that's mean. Um, yeah, right about there. All right, so that goes there. That thing comes in right around here. This comes in around here. That definitely comes in around there. That comes in around here. Getting the, the jacket right. To America. To... Most of the other animals are so stupid. I think you should know I'm having a terrible time. Good. <laughs> Pancakes! What the fuck is wrong with you? What's the funniest thing Tyler has ever done? Um, I guess talking. He'll chirp. Like anytime anyone around him sneezes or coughs, he'll chirp. He'll go like... Yeah, see, I can get him to do it. Let's see. All right, all right. I'm going to show you. Yep. Tybor. All right. So watch this. But you can't look at him when you do it, because then he knows. <laughs> yeah, you're cute. That's right, Tyler. Good Tyler. So I'd say that's the funniest thing he does. I think a lot of Nintendo games are only accessible if you have a lot of nostalgia for them. You watch those reviews of those Dingo movies? Man, I want to do a review of those Dingo movies myself. Those things are... <clears throat> There's something. This is due the 28th. Now, I fucking work Tuesday, and that's... God damn it. But I don't work Monday. Hmm. But I have an interview Monday. Hopefully. Hopefully, I've got an interview Monday. Okay, that's too big. My nose comes to right about 
here. That's adorable. Exactly. That is adorable. And a cat. Being an adorable little cat. That's that's his job, man. Yep, there he goes chirping. Are you getting angry because I'm just standing here talking to myself? Tyler, you're so possessive. I invented radar. Yeah, so this thing on my face that's a, like looks like a dick, that's my nose. There we go. Do you have a girlfriend? Because I'm single. No, I do not. <laughs> I do not. I am tired. I think my head's getting, like, squished. I think my forehead needs to come up a little more. Let's see. More questions. Come on. I... Give me more things to talk about. Prefer oh, that's what I'm standing on. Okay. All right, that. Yeah, more questions. More questions. Get get your get your thinking caps out and give me more questions. See. I mean, man, you've got me. Ask me. Ask me whatever the fuck you want. I'll answer it. Let's see. Do I have to do, like, the Jeb Bush thing? Like, clap, please? <laughs> oh. oh, I remember when I first saw that. Uh, that was my actual reaction. I went, oh, oh, clap, please. <laughs> oh. Poor Jeb Bush. You really... You really, really, you really didn't know anything about what you were doing, did you? All right, what is the best movie you've ever seen in a movie theater? Ah, uh, the best movie I've ever seen in a movie theater? The Dark Knight. That was the best movie I've ever seen in a movie theater. Actually, no, I take that back. Mad Max Fury Road was the best movie I've ever seen in a movie theater. It's a toss-up between the two of them. I've seen movies that I, I have liked more, but never in the theater. Like, the best, one of the best movies I've ever seen is Monty Python's Holy Grail. Monty Python and the Holy Grail. But, you know, I was about 30 years too late to that one. I was born in the wrong decade. Actually, I think I've been I think I'm born in the right decade. I think any other decade I'd just I'd just be confused, tired, probably have a shitty job right now, or I'd be working on Star Wars, who knows. Certainly, I don't have the equipment necessary to look at an alternate version of myself if I had been born in 1968. Let's see. Let's stay, because I like your personality and everything looks. Uh-huh. Oh, look. Fat material. Oh, God. Hello. Now, Advanced Edition. I don't really have a whole lot of time. So, play nice. Or I'll get rid of you. I'm... Let's see. Ah, yeah, Monty Python. Uh, yeah, Life of Brian is also pretty good. I think I actually saw Life of Brian in theaters. As a re-release, not, not when it came out. So my mouth is right about here. Eventually, I'm going to need to eat something.
Yeah, you know what? The structure of this is already looking better. Like, already it looks better to me. And I think that has a lot to do with proportion. Let's see. To Netflix soon, so I'm hyped. You can actually find Life of Brian for free on YouTube. That's where I found it. So what else am I doing? Oh, yeah! <clears throat> I've got a mind series in the works. So the next, the next edited video to come out is going to be... Um, is going to be the clickbait video. It's going to be me reading that clickbait article, just because I want that done. Uh, then after that, uh, I'm going to re-edit the anime vlog, because YouTube took it down, which was bullshit, by the way, but what can you do? Um, then after that, see, for the Feeding the Trolls, uh, by the way, the live one that's going to be tonight, I'm going to do Caden Cowger. Um, I actually recorded a feeding of him, but the one recording that I did of him that I really liked was also out of focus. And then this uh, last one that I did, it's all in focus, but I just don't have the energy. So... Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do him live. Because I think that'll be a good mix of the two, and, and then it'll be done with, and then I won't have to do him anymore. I'm going to do his video where he says that his audience has killed themselves. Because he's a tool, I guess. Let's see. Can you still recite all of MP and the Holy Grail? Yes. As a matter of fact, I can. I could just sit here and do that, and then it would, the fucking stream would get flagged. But yeah, yeah, I can actually recite the entire movie. So, <laughs> please tell me you don't want me to do that. I can recite one piece. If you want me to recite one piece, I can recite the beggar piece. Wait for comments on that one. Also, have you heard of It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia? Yeah. Yeah, I have. I like that show. There's a lot of nostalgic connotations in that show for me. I used to binge watch it when I was uh, hanging out with Jeb at his apartment. Way, way long ago. Way long ago. Ah. So many memories. Memories. Like a smile I left behind. Okay, I'm gonna be honest. I, I, I look black. I think I got proportions wrong again. I think it's the... Something's going on. Is it... What did I do? Okay, I did something wrong here. Something went wrong. That would be interesting to see you do. God, what are you drawing? It looks like a crazy psychopath. What the fuck? What's your favorite scene in the Holy Grail? Minus the bridge scene. Um... The beggar. Actually, no. The, uh, the witch. The witch scene. Do it. Do it. Do the beggar scene. All right. Let me see if I can do that while I redraw my mouth. So, scene opens... We've got this line of people walking in. 
And they're like, let's see. Dami Esu Domine Donahe Is Requiem. Yeah, I think that's Dami Esu Domine. Then they hit themselves. Donahe Is Requiem. And they start walking around like day. <laughs> and then you hear people going, We got a witch! We got a witch! We got a witch! Camera follows them. They're like, We got a witch! Uh, we see Sir Bedebier, uh, and he's like throwing a, a swallow with a coconut attached to it. And they come up to him. And they uh, the guy comes out. He steps the staff down on the, on the ground. And he's like, we have found a witch, may we burn her? Burn her! Burn her! And uh, Sabedabir goes, How do you know she is a witch? She looks like one! Ah! Send her forward! I'm not a witch! I'm not a witch! But you were dressed as one! They dressed me up like this! No, you didn't! And this isn't my nose, it's a false one! Checks the nose. And he looks at the crowd, he's like, Well? Well, we did do the nose! The nose? And the hat, but she is a witch. Burn, burn, burn. And he goes, how do you know that she is a witch? Well, she turned me into a newt. A newt? Everybody pauses. I got better. Burn her anyway. Burn her. Burn her. <laughs> Quiet, please. There are ways of telling whether she is a witch. Well, I'd kill her first. Yeah. Tell me. What do you do with witches? Burn them! Burn them! <laughs> and what do you burn apart from witches? More witches! Wood! Ah! So, why do witches burn? And then there's this long fucking pause. Because they're... Because they're made of wood? Good! Oh, ah, yeah, yeah! So, how can we tell whether she is made of wood? Build a bridge out of her! <laughs> Which always makes me laugh. Ah, but can you not also make bridges out of stone? Oh, yeah. Uh. Tell me, does wood sink in water? No, no, it floats! It floats! Throw her into the pond! Uh. Uh. What also floats in water? A grain, apples, a very large, very small rocks, a cider, a great gravy, cherries, nuts, a churches, churches, legs a duck, says, Mon uh, says King Arthur from the sidelines. Exactly. So, logically, if she weighs the same as a duck, she's made of wood. <laughs> that always makes me laugh. And therefore... A witch! A witch! Burn her! Burn her! We shall use my largest scales and they take her out to this this uh, this set of scales that's like the most inaccurate, flimsy, thick wooden piece of shit. And they put her in and they throw a duck in there and it, it doesn't even level. Like, it does not even level. And they're like, A WITCH! Burn her! <laughs> and so Benavir comes out and he's like, who are you who are so wise in the ways of science? I am Arthur, King of the Britons. My liege! Good sir knight, will you come with me to Camelot and join me at the round table? My liege, I would be honored. What is your name? Benabir, my liege. Now I dub you Sir Benabir, Knight of the Round Table. So that was that, was that whole scene. My childhood was also kind of lame. My parents didn't buy me many video games. Let's see, I think I started getting into video games when I was about 10 years old. Mostly, I would just watch Let's Plays from other videos. Yeah. So, Benabir was to become the first of King Arthur's knights. But other names were soon to follow. Sir Lancelot, the Brave. Sir Galahad, the Pure. And Sir Robin not quite so brave as Sir Lancelot, who had barely fought the vicious Barry, who had barely fought the dragon of Agnor, who had nearly fought, who had nearly, no, he, who bravely lost to the dragon of Agnor, who nearly fought the vicious chicken of Bristol, and who had personally wet himself at the Battle of Badenhill, and the aptly named 
so not appearing in this film. Together, their names and deeds were to be retold throughout the centuries as the Knights of the Round Table. So it cuts to them, and they're, they're like, walking along, and King Arthur is right next to Bedivere. He's like, so this new learning amazes me, Sir Bedivere. Explain to me again how sheep's blood... <laughs> no, no, it starts off with Bedivere going, and that, sir, and that, my liege, is how we know the earth to be banana-shaped. This new learning amazes me, Sir Bedivere. Explain again how sheep's bladders can be used to predict certain earthquakes. Ah, <laughs> uh, I need to watch that movie again. It's better to watch it with someone who's never seen it. As with all good movies, it's better to watch it with someone who's never seen it. So you can, you know, share it, share with them the, the, the wonders of seeing something for the first time. Unless, you know, they watch it and they're like, uh, okay, well, that was fun. Coconut sounds intes intensify. Tyler, what are you doing now? Is you eating? Tyler's eating. Tyler's eating with his brain. Ty uh, Tyler, stop eating with your brain. Brain eating. Uh, uh. Let's see, what else? Face. Let's see, what? What's wrong? Why is you a sad, Millie something? Ah, <coughs> fuck, talking. Do you like Harry Potter? If so, do you, have you done Pottermore? Um, I'm not a big fan of Harry Potter. I'm not saying that I don't like it. I'm saying I'm not really into it. <clears throat> and also, I don't know what Pottermore is. It sounds like a drug. If it is a drug, I'm going to go ahead and tell you right now I can't afford it. But explain to me what Pottermore is. Look at this. I'm looking off into two different directions. This is bullshit. Uh, come on. Don't fuck up. Erase. Erase. Although, again, this is not planar analysis. I keep diverging away from planar analysis. Okay, I think I messed up my eyes. All right. Yeah, what is Pottermore? I've heard of it, but I've never... Yeah, tell us what Pottermore is. Peach Bunny 777. Explain. Explain. Then there's this... Start putting in thicker lines. Actually, I think I need to. Let's see. It is a site where you can sort of, where you can sort yourself into a Hogwarts house, get your wand, and a Patronus. I thought a Patronus was like some deeply personal thing that you got from magical some some kind of doodad, like radiation. Like, isn't Patronus something you get after you get exposed to high amounts of gamma rays? You get your Patronus, and then you can use a wand. Like, I always figured it was radiation something. But hey, I might be wrong. That's just a theory. A radiation theory. But I've seen clips of it. It looks funny. I want to watch it someday. That sounds like it's filled with angsty liberal teens. What? A Harry Potter site? Uh, I don't know how... I don't know why. Why that would be that way. Yeah, I think I fucked up my eyes. I think I fucked up my eyes. Erase that part. Get 
getting tired. I want to eat. <laughs> I want to eat something, damn it. Even though I'm not really hungry, I want to eat something. And then... That does not look at all like me. But it's planar analysis, I think, so... I guess it is. Like, that really does not look like me at all. <laughs> I guess once I add the beard in... Once I put the beard in, it'll look like me. Uh, my Protonus is a wild boar. Your Protonus might be a weasel. I... Yeah, maybe. Uh, let's see. Put that up there. Uh, that's also not planar analysis. God damn it. Fucking planar analysis. Analysis those planers, man. Analysis those planers. I think it's the eyes. I think I got the eyes wrong. I got this eye wrong. I think that eye's okay. Where? All Harry Potter fans, I know where were the feminist stereotype. Um, review Mick Review Sun. That really hasn't been my experience, but I also live in a different area, so. Maybe. Let's see. That is better. That's a better eye. And then. Yeah, that, that's better. This eye is still fucked up. I might erase this one. Try this again. I don't think I'm doing great on planar analysis. See, worst TV show you've ever seen so far. Okay, the worst TV show I ever saw was the show came on sci-fi a while ago. Um, it was called... Actually, I'm about to say Trip in the Rift, which was pretty bad, but there have been worse. I guess, I mean... It's kind of hard to pin down what is the worst. I would say that, like, Assy McGee, that was just abysmal. Um, let's see, what's another one? There was a cartoon that came on that was supposed to be like, oh, Brickleberry sucked. That was it. Fucking Brickleberry was terrible. Let's see, Bobfish Patronus. Or you could be a dragon. You can get a dragon Patronus. I don't know enough about Patronuses. Something is not right here, though. No, I mean, they're, they're spaced far enough apart. I think it's my mouth. Start working on the mouth here. The movie I was talking about was Monty Python and the Holy Grail, by the way. Um, yes. There we go. Okay. Ah, that, that looks horrifying. I'm not very good at this. Yeah, whatever graphic novel I end up drawing, like, however it ends up ultimately, it will not be drawn realistically. I can pretty much guarantee that. I can't do realism. 
I do not have the patience for it. Do that. Do this. Do this. There we go. Blade Runner Final Cut was really fucking good. Yes, Blade Runner's good. Have you played any of the Dark Souls games? Uh, no. I mean, I sort of did, but I don't... I have all of them. Well, I don't have all of them, but I got the first one and the second one, I think. I know I have the first one. But I think there was an issue with it, like, it would not save. So I put it on ice. I put playing that thing on ice until it could save. Because it's a hard-as-hell game, from what I understand. And, you know, if I can't fucking save it, then what's the point? Let's see. Yeah, Final Cut was good. Alright, now I can start putting in the cross hatching. And now I look like a Bajoran. Damn it. What are you looking at, cat? Staring up at me? I gave you food. You have plenty of food, Tybor. Tybor. Tylor, you have food. Don't give me this. I am a starving cat. I have no food. You never feed me. I spent a lot of money feeding you, actually, Tylor. Ungrateful cat. The only good thing on sci-fi was their Twilight Zone marathon and any anthology TV show. Also, thoughts on the new Netflix season? Of what? The new ne Netflix season of what? Like, be be a little specific. I'm not, I'm not sure. There's a lot of Netflix. Are you talking about the Netflix reboot? The reboot of reboot? I'd be interested in seeing that. I remember watching Reboot when it was on. Reboot was a fun show. Weasel, the stream keeps lagging for me. Yeah, it says that the stream health is kind of iffy. It might be the laptop. In fact, I might cut it off since... Let's see. Weasel, Dark Souls has an autosave feature when you access the bonfire checkpoints. <clears throat> no, no. My issue was the bonfires weren't working. It was apparently a common PC issue back when I got it. I'm sure it's been patched now. Is anybody else having issues with lag? Yeah, I saw the new Mystery Science Theater... I have mixed feelings about it. On one hand, I'm glad it's back. And there are some good episodes. But I think they've gotten a little too... I think they put too much emphasis on the skits and not enough on the actual riffing. Also, I think they're not harsh enough. And the group dynamic is really kind of, eh. it, it It's, it's going to sound weird and kind of antithetical to everything that Mystery Science Theater is kind of about. But I think the backstory needed to be worked on a little bit more. Just a little bit. Uh, I would love to see a CFW playthrough of Dark Souls. Have you ever seen A Wrinkle in Time? No, and I have no intention. As far as I understand, that movie is bad.
Yeah, now it looks like I'm wearing flannel. And again, this is not exactly planar analysis. Uh, what time is it? 154? Uh, I might end this soon. I have to eat and I have to let my voice relax. And this doesn't necessarily have to be due. I mean, it's due the 28th. Not the 26th. Hey. And I definitely feel like something is wrong. Like the eyes are off or something. You know? Like, how did you fix the tear in space-time that Mega Sage caused? I didn't. No, I just escaped from it. I didn't close it. All kinds of shit could be falling out of that thing, as far as I know. <laughs> Give me fit, you know, Byron face. Yeah, no, I definitely look like a crazy drunk. Let's see. Ah, bleh. My fucking mouth. Ah, uh, my voice. Ah. Put this away. But I think I'm going to go ahead and call it. Um, unless you guys have any other questions. Um, if you do, let me know. Otherwise, I think I might call it here. Uh, just because my voice is starting to fuck up really bad. Ugh. Ugh. Yeah. So I'm going to go ahead and call it. Um, hope you guys enjoyed. Hope this was good background noise for everybody. Uh, stream health is sort of deteriorating anyway. And uh, let me get Ty Lor. Hi, Lor. Ah, you can say goodbye to them. There we go. Say goodbye, Ty Lor. Say goodbye. Hey, mom. Hello. Say goodbye to them. Yeah. Yeah. Ah. Damn cat. All right, guys. I'll talk to you guys later. I'm going to go ahead and try and eat something before I have to go talk to people at a job. I don't like jobs. Jobs suck.